Take two for NASA. The space agency is counting down to another attempt at launching its unmanned Artemis rocket later today. The most powerful rocket NASA has ever built was supposed to blast off on a test flight to the moon and back last Monday. But that liftoff was scrubbed due to technical problems. Mark Strassman is at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where the window to launch Artemis opens in just a few hours today. Mark, the big question, how is it looking right now? Well, morning, Jeff. It's not looking great. Uh, NASA has a problem. This massive rocket has sprung a leak. It's in the engine section, which is at the very bottom of the rocket, and it surfaced a couple of hours into the fueling process. And there's no question, this is a problem that NASA has to solve if it hopes to make its two-hour launch window this afternoon, starting at 2.17 Eastern time. It was... Uh, after the fueling was over this past Monday, when NASA had to scrub the first scheduled launch, the problem then was temperature gauges showed one of the core stage's four engines failed to cool properly. NASA now believes a faulty sensor was to blame. If that sensor goes out again today, their plan is to ignore it. Today's weather forecast, 60 percent go for launch to start the two-hour window, 80 percent toward the end of it. And now that we're in a holiday weekend, the crowds are expected to be even bigger than they were for the first scheduled launch on Monday, local tourism officials expect somewhere between 200,000 and 400,000 people to line the causeways and beaches, hoping to get a glimpse of the launch. And the last thing that any of these people want to see, Jeff, is a, is a fuel leak that scrubs the launch for a second time. Well, I'm sure they also want NASA to be safe. I know a lot of people have been looking forward to this, though, Mark. Mm -hmm. if, if it doesn't happen this afternoon, what, what's next? A couple options. Monday, Tuesday. And if it doesn't happen by then, then they have to roll the rocket back to the garage, the vehicle assembly building, hope for later this month or even next month. So if it doesn't happen by Tuesday, there really is going to be a, a somewhat significant delay. Okay, Mark Strassman, thank you very much. Um, I know a lot of people, as we said, you know, they really want to see this. They but do. as somebody said this morning, they're okay with NASA waiting. I mean, they spent $4 billion on this. This is not a manned mission, but the next one will be. Um, so. I just thought it was interesting that if it doesn't work out by Tuesday, you take it back to the garage. Yeah, and, and I wonder what the bill is for the tune-up or the fix-it back at the garage. I mean, how much more money is going into the delay? It's not the 1999 oil change. <laughs>